area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But they tell you be safe when you out in these streets Rest in peace, King Nip, stay dangerous Good motherfuckers play for keys Keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Better keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and blend. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to every single one of y'all who watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to the Milwaukee Bucks for winning their first NBA championship in more than 50 years. That is a significant accomplishment. Um, Chris Paul and them boys, y'all blew the bag. Y'all was up 2 0. Then got swept. Then got swept. That's kind of crazy. I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, but what about the Nets? I guess injuries, talent, and a game seven. Durant hits a shot that changes the trajectory of the NBA. He's a foot or an inch back. Things change, but it's not about, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Salute, this is about Milwaukee and them winning the championship. Giannis had a monster game. 50? In a closeout? That's crazy. Yo, all Giannis slander ends. All Giannis slander ends. All three of the brothers got a championship. Giannis is the first African to ever benefit from nepotism because I don't know anything that them other two brothers have done ever, but they all three of them have championships. One with Milwaukee, one with the Lakers, and now Giannis. That's a significant accomplishment. But let's... Get into what we're gonna get into. John John and Don. It's been a little minute since I said John John and Don. I think about a month or two. Because, you know, I think I recapped his battle versus Ace I mean, but uh Scream! He's got Sue Surf next on Summer Madness. I want y'all to go watch John John and Don's interview on Hip Hop Is Real, where he basically was talking about Sue Surf, talking about Sue Surf is right now, saying that you know his career is not really popping, nobody's expecting him to have better bars. And a lot of other things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was talking about the narratives that's going to be painted, like this is Sue Surf's comeback, comeback. I don't even know if you can say that, because he just battled 40, and he just battled Loaded Lux, maybe six to eight months ago. That ain't no huge comeback. That's not a comeback. Iron Solomon battling again would be a comeback. He hasn't battled in over a year or two. That's a comeback. Somebody who we saw six months ago is not a comeback. Seven months ago is not a comeback. So I get it to where you may feel like that the narrative, because the narrative, you know, that's the word of the week. Narrative is being painted that, you know, it's going to be a comeback. It's going to be on a big stage. Listen, John John, I think you need to, you, 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 I know you're focused on the technical aspect of this battle, which is you getting in there and doing what you do, showing up for that big crowd and just booming the building. Like that's what you need. That's the main focus, you know what I'm saying? We all know that survey ain't gonna come in no more. Like, you got like a 30% chance of him showing up with three, four rounds of material. You already know that. Like, you you know this already. So, it's kind of like a, a bad hand in spades. I got two in a possible. He's got two in a possible. Out the gate. Like, you know he's two in a possible. It's no hate. It's just the law of averages. 40 bars, two rounds. Loaded Lux. Two rounds. He doesn't even put you above loaded Lux. If he couldn't get prepared for Lux, what means he's gonna get prepared for you? He also talked about, uh, you know, that that people are are who's gonna say that that surf raps better than him or has got better angles and better puncher. While I probably won't say that, he's got big stage appeal. I will say that. Mad mops, mad brooms, we're walking arms out like bitches to the bathroom. You know, he's got big stage appeal to where he can definitely bomb in a big room. Like, we're not gonna, we won't say that. I won't say that. Now, do I think 
that his ego is getting ahead of the battle rap talent. It's been way ahead of the battle rap talent for a while. We're not caping for him today. Musically, he's phenomenal too, but I think that, you know, the pride and ego is like on a huge rise. You just saw it the other day with uh, the whole 15 minutes of fame shit. That could have been handled in a thousand different ways. But as far as John John goes, I think that you're probably going to be favorited 80-20 maybe? 80-20? I, I can see it being 70-30-80-20 is what the split is probably going to be. Because we all know there's a couple things about John John and Don that he does that his opponent doesn't. He's always prepared. He never really chokes. I can't even recall. I can't count on one hand how many times he's ever choked in a battle. He's, he's able to, to, to rebuttal. He's able to use angles. Like, his angles are phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? And he's able to do it on big stage. And he's do, able to do it on small stage. You're at the pinnacle of your career right now. John John, you're at the top of your career. Like, this is the prime level right here. I heard you talk about the NBA comparisons with LeBron James and the MVP every season. I get it, but, but your accolades and what you've been able to accomplish in your career are second to none. Bullpen Battle League, one of the bigger battle leagues in the world. People respect it. People watch the battles. You know, you got your career. You've helped other individuals. Loso's career is booming. You got Clone on the way. Uh, you know, mad other people that you've helped usher through the door. So, what I'm basically saying is with these narratives, you have to remember, you taking a small percentage of people and making it the big percentage. The big percentage of people see the picture clear. The clear picture is you're going to battle and you're probably going to win. That's the end of it. Like we understand what's going on here. We're not naive to think that just because a battle is being marketed as a comeback or somebody's coming back or whatever the case may be, that you're going to lose. Because <laughs> John John and Don don't lose a lot of battles any goddamn way to begin with. You don't lose a lot of battles to begin with. Now, if I look at it in retrospect to your last battle versus Ace I mean, I would hope, that, I mean, that's the first time the big stage is kind of like, it wasn't a huge stage, but it looked like it was a decent crowd. I would think that you would be more in a bag to like really, really get surf out of here. You know, cause you said, you said, you're going to make it to where, you know, he's really, really over. Because, see, the thing is, he's lost battles. But even the battles that he lost, per se, nobody really got him out of here. Like, nobody got him gone. He's always able to come back. He's always able to do commentary. He's always able to be around. He's always able to talk his talk. And nobody's got him out of here. So that's the reason why he feels the way he does. Is it right or wrong? I don't know. I'm just a nigga with a camera trying to stay out of slammer. But what I will say is you have everything that it takes. Now, if he was an MC that I was like, yo, this nigga's always going to be with three rounds. He's going to always be in his bag. Then shit, you know, it'd be probably a closer battle. But the way you're a tactician, you tactically break down MCs and you're able to use these word patterns and use skills and use everything that you got in your arsenal to, to, to really, really, really dig into an MC. So I don't see... You having much of an issue, but the narrative thing, it's like, bro, like you talking about narratives, we're going to see you talk about narratives, not a battle, not the sport that you give your life to, but we talking about a narrative, like that shit, it, 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 when you think about it from the large, I'm just trying to give you the large picture, hmm, 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 I'm just trying to give you the large picture. If you're getting deep in that water, you start swimming past the wave, you might see sharks, nigga. I'm just giving you the large picture. You know, the large picture says that although there are there are always going to be narratives out there. There's narratives out there about everything. But his so-called comeback, it's not a big thing. This is not big. This ain't no big comeback. Nigga battled 16 months ago. That's not a big comeback. That's just you ain't been on a card or two. Well, the way caffeine be doing it, you know, I thought I'm going to think I got a week, so he might have been like 10 cards since then. But you get the drift of what I'm saying. I see what you're saying, and I understand where you're coming from, but I did watch a Hip Hop Is Real interview, and I seen the concern on you 
that you just felt like that the tables might be turned and people might be trying to pull for a false situation. It ain't like that. What I think is if you bring your A game and do the shit that we know you could do, and one, you know what I'm saying? Like, this has happened. And the thing is, this through this two round shit has happened in a lot of battles. <sighs> I could think of four off top T Top, Rum Nitty, Loaded Lux, 40 Bars, and I'm sure there's more. But I can think of four battles off top. So, with that being said, <laughs> All you gotta do is do what you do what you do. You come with three, one come with two. <laughs> it is what it is. We're not doing the whole a person rap two rounds and we just give them the bat. Like we're not doing that shit. Like nigga come out, spit four bars, and it's like, yo, I'm out. I I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, 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 no. It takes more than that. Definitely takes more. Salute to every single one of y'all niggas out there that watch this shit, man. I just I just had to speak on it because I saw the John John Hip Hop is Real interview, Salute to Hip Hop is Real, and 15 Minutes of Fame. Them guys be out there getting all them interviews, you know what I'm saying, getting the first-hand perspective of what's going on, you know what I'm saying, that, that shit takes a lot. And I seen, you know, his interview, and he seemed very concerned. Like, he wasn't like, he wasn't like, I could tell he was hot, though. He was like, surface career shit right now. It ain't just right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> somehow in this world, we believe that, uh, you know what I'm saying, like, we're not weak. Well, a lot of people believe that uh, the Loaded Lux battle was a good idea. I mean, Lux didn't even do, if you really look at the Lux battle again, Lux didn't even do that great. He was baseline. Baseline. It was really, really baseline. It wasn't nothing, it wasn't no memorable performance. We're not going to turn that on a year from now, like, yo, we got to watch Lux. Oh, that's not, I think he, I think if he got a chance to do that shit, he'll probably do that shit again. In a different circumstance. He was better. Lux was better versus Verb. He was better in the 2 on 2 He's better than every single. That was probably. I might be reaching. I might be a narrative. That might be Lux's worst performance. He won, but it might be his worst performance. Might be. I have to. I, I ain't going. I'm not, I'm not even going to say. I was going to say. I might have to check the tapes. I'm not looking through the tapes. Y'all niggas let me. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you got me. But. I will say that John John, um, as long as he does what he's supposed to do, what he's supposed to do, filling in the blanks, being in his bag, having a good cadence, having a good pace, using the phenomenal angles that I know he does. He had a fire one versus chest, you know, again, no more ducking wave, time to swan dive. Like, come on, son. Come on. Come on, B. Like, like, we're not about to do this. This ain't no, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't that. This ain't that and that ain't this. You know what it takes. You've been on these big stages before. Now, what I will say, and you address this too, this ain't about record sales, this ain't about Instagram accounts, this ain't about who's the more popular person, because in that, if that was the scenario, of course, he's bigger than you, as far as artistry goes. But in battle rap, unless you're a diehard fan of an individual, and there's very few people that I'm like a diehard fan, that I, a diehard fan is someone that's so fixated in who they like that it will blind their judgment like you want your team to win so bad that they could be playing somebody that you know is better than them but you want them to win anyway so you're going to pick them there's very few people that i personally get blinded by like that very few that if i know that there's an mc that's better and they beat them regardless of who it may be a lot of y'all be like oh man boo 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 you take rock bro i have said when he's lost i say he lost for his moot I say he lost for his daylight. I have no problem telling that man when he lost. And I tell him when he won too. So I'm not blinded by anybody to where if they lose, I'm going to have them winning. Just because. Um, and I heard people be, there's people that started wanting to bet. I think even Stiz said he wanted to bet. Like, Stiz, just stay away from betting. Stay away from judged battles. Stay away from all of that shit. I think the best way that people could probably go about judging battles from now on is just having your judges, they all pick who won and then you just reveal it at the same time. Because what happens is a lot of times like when one person judges a battle, the next person sees who the other person picks and that sometimes clouds their judgment. And then like Danny Myers was saying, salute to him, when you watching a battle, if you're writing down all of these bars, you fuck around and miss some shit. Because you're trying to write something down or type something down, and you're messing around and miss something. 
So you, how can you really adequately judge if you got a page full of notes and you're trying to write something down at the same time? It's kind of, it's very hard to do that. That's why a lot of the times I'll just watch it first so I could come up with my conclusion and then on the run back, or if it's something super crazy, a line like that, I'll write that down like chess pick on somebody your own size. That's a line that I can write down right quick, but you can't analyze and break down a whole battle while watching it. That shit is very difficult. There's a few people that can, but it ain't many. Um, other than that, John John, just do what you do, and it's gonna be what it is. Gang. Yeah. The streets ain't safe, but they tell you be safe when you out in the streets. Rest in peace, King Nip, stay dangerous, cause motherfuckers play for keys. Keep you a toaster. Keep you a toaster, better keep you a toaster, keep you a toaster. With all that internet beefing, how you out here necking? You mean to tell me you just a loud mouth nigga that's reckless? Some of you niggas got death wishes, you do it for likes. Go viral to get killed later on that night. It's shit crazy to find out you wasn't on that hype. For them views, you really just paid with your life. All the real killers I know, they don't be online. And if they is, they just waiting for you to post your lie. I ride around me and Hamilton. 